Welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we are looking at summary writing. So, we are going to look at one, the meaning of summary. When we say summary, what is the meaning? Then two, we will look at the rules of summary. Summary writing. Then we also check how to write summary. Then fourth, we then write a writer summary. So we are looking at the meaning of summary. So what is summary? What is summary? What is summary? So summary, summary is the shortened version of a test. When you see text, it can be a passage, essay, a paragraph, or a sentence. So when we are writing summary, we'll be given a passage, essay, a book, a sentence, a paragraph for us to reduce it, to condense it. So in SS SHS, how are we going to condense a passage or essay for us to get our requirements? Let's start now. So in WASI, they expect us to write our summary, write summary in sentences. So don't forget, they yeah, expect us to write it in sentences. And supposed to be simple, simple sentences only. Simple sentences. So, simple sentences. Then, let's ask, what is a sentence? So a sentence is made up of noun plus verb plus another noun. Grammatically, you can see that a sentence is made up of subject plus predicate. And we can further break it down to be subject plus verb or action plus another noun. So our answers to summary should only be subject, verb, action, simple sentence only. So we have to get the point, the answer in the passage and we write it in simple sentences. And simple sentence should begin with a noun, verb, noun, which is subject, verb, object. We have established that in summary, our answer should be simple sentences, in which we said should be subject, plus verb, plus object. In terms of summary, the subject will be the topic of the question, topic or theme, theme of the question. Then the verb will be the action word or the head verb of the question and the object will be our answer. And note that the topic or theme should only be a noun 
then the answer should only be a noun. Then you put it together with the action. Then you have done summary. So summary is the shortened version of a given test. Written in only simple sentences. Nothing else. Only simple sentences. Nothing else. Let's look at example of summary answers. So let's look at this question. A question will be given this way. Let's say we have a question in one sentence states a cause of teenage pregnancy. So here in summary, our answer number one, number eight. So from the question, the topic is teenage pregnancy. That will be the subject. So you should begin our sentence with teenage pregnancy. That is the topic, the subject. Then the question, the head verb in the question is cause this one. So you write is caused by let's say poverty. So the poverty is our answer. So in terms of what see, they will give you a passage so you get a noun for the answer. Then you use the subject of the question to write the answer. We can also write the answer this way by bringing the object first. Poverty is a cause of teenage pregnancy. Good. So let's dive into details, several scenarios that will help us to understand the meaning of summary. Okay, so in our lives, we always do summary. We do summary in our homes, our conversations. So let's look at some of them that we do. Let's say there has been a football match. We have watched a football match. Then we have been confronted with what happened. What was the score? What, what, how was the game? I don't think we are going to give commentary for the whole match. From pre-match, the match, half-time, all those no. You will probably say one of these. One. Kotoko. Scored. Hearts. We have said. Hearts. Scored. Kotoko. You could have said that. Protocol drew with hearts. So we are saying that this is summary because it's having the subject, subject, the verb is here, then the object, the sufferer of action. So the one performing the action, the one winning, if you confess. Then same thing. So when we do something like this, we are doing summary. So summary is part of us. Any straightforward answer that we give in simple sentence when we are confronted with questions is summary. So summary is everywhere. Now, let's look at some of the rules. Rules in summary. So one, in summary answers, you don't need adjectives, 
because they describe a noun or add more meaning to a noun so we don't need adjectives they are kind of adding more color to a particular noun person the place they add more color so we don't need any adjective also we don't need quantifies quantifies which we will say adverb we don't need adverb in summary answers frequency manner we don't need it we only need the action action we need the action the verb the noun then two in summary we must write our answers in only simple sentences Good. so we don't need any coloring words like adjective quantifiers modifiers we don't need them we need straightforward answer action and we don't need adverb of manner frequent what sequence we don't need them number we don't need them so if you look at the football match that we have summarized what the score has the number of scores we don't need them how score kotoko we don't need a score you don't need whether it's two nil they are all adverbs you don't need them so let's move on and add more rules another rule that we can observe in summary writing is what is known as who say lifting we shouldn't lift that is we shouldn't cut and paste the portion of the passage as our answer but we can take some words we can take words in the passage but what we should establish is that in summary we must use our own words own words as far as possible we should use our own words so they should, shouldn't do wholesale lifting if you do that you score zero but doesn't mean you cannot use a word from the passage you can use it but it should be a noun what are they saying they are saying come then you use it as your answer another thing we should look at is that there's no we don't have to use any phrase as our answer or idiomatic expression as our answer if a phrase is our answer we should replace it with a noun if idiomatic expression is our answer we should replace it with a noun so a phrase is like to go by foot by car so all these we shouldn't write our answers this way any idiomatic expression should be replaced so in summary it is the application of nearest meaning nearest meaning so there are more we should read your books now let's look at how to answer summary let's look at how to answer summary and where to find your answers in summary writing so to get summary answers you must understand that all the passages they are written with topic sentence And the topic sentence is the first sentence of every paragraph. In fact, it can be last and it can be middle. But most of the times they put it at the end of first. But most essays, most passages are having their topic sentence first. And in fact, the topic sentence 
is the summary of every paragraph. So when we identify the topic sentence, we have actually summarized the whole paragraph. And to get a topic sentence, there are transitions. Transitions or introductory words that they use to do the topic sentence. Some are firstly, or first of all, in addition, moreover, and many more. These are instances that you find a topic sentence. In fact, summary is opposite of essay. In essay, you get a point, they put sentence on it to form series of paragraphs to make sense. In summary, you'll be giving the passage. Then you'll be taking the points out to be the answer. So whenever we are writing summary, you should seek for the topic sentence. And that will be the summary of the whole paragraph. Okay, let's look at the steps. In writing what's the summary step one read the question for the demand of the question the demand means what they are telling you to do you should read the question and know that they say i should find a b c then two, read first to second paragraph. So you go and read the first to second paragraph to find the answer what we have learned today. So, what you need to do is that after writing your answer, after reading the passage, so you first have to read the question for the demand. Then when we are done, you now read the passage, passage first to second paragraph. Then you locate the answer, you underline it. Then you write your answer. Then you check grammatical errors. So what you are seeing here is that in WASI, they arrange question A to get the answer from first to second paragraph. Then B, third to fourth paragraph in that order so there's no need to go to the passage and waste time just read the first question come to the passage find the answer write it move on to your finish and if you do that you have enough time to finish and summary is 30 marks and you write only six sentences to get 30 marks. If you look at essay, you write 450 words to get 50 marks, and it's difficult to get 30 marks for essay. So, spend time on summary if you really want to pass English. So, let's look at what we have learned today. So, today, we have looked at the meaning of summary to be shortened. version of essay or test that's the first one 
two, we have noticed that in summary, our answer should be in sentences. And we mean simple sentences. And we establish that simple sentence made up of subject, verb, and uh, object. And we establish that the subject is the topic in the question. And the verb is the action in the that object is the answer. And we also learned some rules in summary. Which most important is who see lifting, cutting and pasting portion of the passage. And we established that summary should be in your own words. Own words. Then we also established that we must follow some steps. And the steps you must first read question the question read question first and look for the answer and do them so thank you very much to just watch this subscribe for more thank you i hope you understand something bye